You're watching CES Live, powered by Ustream.tv, the most powerful way to stream live video, and by NewTek, makers of the TriCaster family of broadcast and streaming systems. And now, CES Live. Hey guys, it's John P. We are continuing our live coverage here at CES 2014 in Las Vegas. This is Renee. I'm Renee Ritchie. I refuse to leave. How are you doing, I'm Renee? doing excellently, John. Thank you're, you for asking. You're going to be doing even better in just a minute. I believe. You know why? We have a fantastic guest. We do. We do indeed. It's Neil from VisiWig. Actually, Good. technically, you're from i4 Software. Correct. i4 Software makes all kinds of cool apps, a not whole bunch. just VisiWig. That's right. Oh, Although yeah. we have been using VisiWig nonstop. I saw, I was very happy when I came up and I was like, oh man, they're using have you, it. Have you, seen, awesome. have you seen my contraption? <laughs> That's is incredible. I, oh I, yeah. I have contraption envy. I'm oh yeah. This is, I am using this Edelkrone um, slider right Ooh. here, okay? And this slider is kind of cool because some people haven't seen this, but what happens is you can run it in two different ways. If it's on the table, I've got a foot of slider action. Mm -hmm. But if I were to mount this on a, uh, a, a foot tripod, uh -huh. you go two feet, a foot to each oh. side. That's awesome. Okay, so Someone then. Someone was thinking. <laughs> yeah, then I got this little uh, iographer here, and I'm running my VisiWig app nonstop, and we're using this as our close-up cam. So that lets me, like when people have stuff to show off, I just right. whip this off of here, and bam, bam. I get all up there in your you grill. Are. <laughs> and uh, up in my business. That's right. So, I love uh, it. but you, but you guys, uh, you know, I know that you make a lot of stuff, and we can talk about some other some other apps. But I want to talk about VisiWig. I want to talk about VisiWig too, real quick. Yeah. I just want to say we we discovered something really cool with one of our other apps called yeah. Fast Camera. Have you played with that one? I have. The fastest camera. The fastest camera ever. on earth. Like, and we discovered with the iPhone 5s, which does eight megapixels, 4K it, video. Yes. 4K on a 5S, and for CES, it's 4K on a 5S for $6. If you go wow, to, that's If you insane. go to i4fastcamera.com, you're doing a CES special, 20% off on fast camera. Nice. And uh, it'll do 24 frames per second, and we, we should be up there by now. If it's not, send my boss an email, and he'll tell you how to turn that into 4K video from your iPhone 4S, and it's pretty incredible. Very cool. 2160p is a lot of P's. Yeah, yeah. Kim tested it out like a little while back, and it was pretty awesome. Yeah. Pretty cool. Pretty to awesome. be able to think like you're getting 4K video out of an iPhone. But yeah. you can only do it with that app. Nothing else would do it right. Yeah, no, that's, it's not a, you can't do that with the native camera. No. You have to use fast camera. That's right. So. Sweet. OK, well, speaking of other things that you can't do with other cameras. <laughs> that's right. Let's talk about VisiWig for a minute. VisiWig. So, uh, just to give everybody, let's give them a brief overview. You're going to be better at this than me. So tell, tell us what VisiWig is. VisiWig is the easiest way to shoot, edit, and share right from your iOS device. You, uh, we have a patented technology called live nonlinear editing. There we go. You, <laughs> I'm used to having my prop. And yeah, I know well, I don't this, wanna. Is, this is actually feeding into the TriCaster. So if there's anything you do want to show us on the screen, whatever you do, they're going to see it. Oh, absolutely. So, I mean, what, what you're seeing at home here on the screen is uh, this is the interface. You open up the app, it looks just like this. There we go. Curly and ball. right away, if you hit that record button, boom, you're recording. There's Mr. Curly. Stop. Now sometimes <laughs> people you. just Thank you for that, do, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent performance. Uh, some people just want to do one clip. They can yeah. export a clip, but we want to build a movie. And boom, we're already starting to make our finished film right inside the app. There's really no faster way for someone to create a polished product. I mean, a lot of people shoot stuff with their phone because the best camera is the camera that you have yes. with you. Yep. And uh, they go, I'm going to go home and I'm going to edit this and I'm going to put it on YouTube or they video. They never do it. Yeah, because here's the problem. The best happens. workflow does not exist yet because usually you use one app to record, then you got to move the stuff to another app. you got to try to edit it, move it, save it, find some way to share it. Well, it didn't before this. No, it, it absolutely did not. This is a problem being solved. That's right. So here, I just shot another clip. In this one, I want to fade to white. And boom, you can see the timeline up top there. We now have two clips with transitions. And uh, you know, it's, it's simple enough for anybody to intuitively pick up. And within a few seconds, they're going to figure it out. But there's a lot of professional features in here. Um, we could put titles on it. Yeah, you can see I'm 
right Playing from the interface, I'm previewing the clip that I just shot. And you know, hey, I want to start over here on you. So if I come up to these little scissors, I can do my in and out points right from there. Done. And it's incredibly visual. You see the timeline on top. You see the edit points in front of you. It makes it very easy to keep track of your shot, but also the entire project. Absolutely. You got the, here on the iPad, it's really nice because you get that timeline on top. But we also do it on the, all the other iPhones. Yep. And you get the timeline down below. And it's really the same interface. You just get a little more real estate here. And uh, you're just building movies right away. There's really no uh, lag time. You can also add. Uh, uh, audio over overlays like we could put a movie track to it. I mean, a, you know, like a soundtrack. soundtrack absolutely. To it. Oh yeah, I mean, we do all the titles, credits. Right now, I'm sitting here playing with the zoom, <laughs> doing a nice smooth zoom in there. Um, and now that I've got a couple clips in here, here I want to, I'm going to put you at the end. So see, we were talking about this all you're, week. Like you're how, moving a clip. You shot them in a particular order, but now you're reordering. Yeah, I, it. I'm. It's literally non-linear editing. Yeah. Which is. Something that in the past you had to have a big desktop, lots of RAM, lots of horsepower, importing stuff, cutting it around. I mean, I I was trained in film school on Avid, so like I've I've been in the motion picture industry for about a decade. So for me to have something like this in the palm of my hand is just it blows my mind the potential. And like you said, titles, audio stuff, um, and you guys in your demo. And if you go to busywig.com/demo. That's, that's your whole uh, Oh, is that the one we did with, with Michael? With where Michael, we were? yeah, my boss. Yep. And uh, we demonstrate some incredible remote camera capabilities that we have. You can slave up to 16 iOS devices and doing multiple clips on it. And uh, there's really just nothing like it on the market yeah. with, with that has that potential. The amazing thing that we were talking about this week was how we could actually go out there and capture stuff using mobile devices and share it immediately instead of filming everything, bringing it back here, editing it. And this makes that whole workflow possible. You can have a person being their entire studio out on a show floor. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, it's literally shoot, edit, share. I said, here I'm going to finish an export just so we can come up. You know, you have your music. Choices. While you're doing that, let me answer a couple of quick questions. Sure. Uh, what was the name of the app again? Vizzywig. V i z z y w i g. It's in the iOS store. Okay. Is there a version of it for Android? Yes and no. The primary version runs on iOS because this. I, I am not kidding when I tell you this is the most advanced complete application I've ever seen developed on iOS. There's nothing else this complex. So they have to worry primarily about making sure it works across every yeah. iOS device. To then add every Android device too is, is startlingly complex. But what they did do was they knew that because we were talking about being able to switch between different devices, like we could have 10 different um, uh, Phones, iPads, show. whatever, and we could be switching. So you guys built an app for Android to at least use it as a camera, right? Correct. The, the Android version, and the metaphor that we use is you have one stage, and then you have many players on the stage. So your stage device links to all the others, and we're making it so that your Android devices can be a stage, but we're also working with the GoPros. And we are you know, actively going out there and trying to get any and every hardware manufacturer that wants to work with us so that any camera can become a, That'd be amazing. a, a player on the stage. And we also, I, I think you alluded to it, but I don't think we really talked about the fact, when you say any, we don't <laughs> even just mean like, if I said we have 10 cameras here, okay, that's mm -hmm. one thing. But what about the fact that there are 150,000 people in yeah. CES there could be somebody out on the floor there who I don't even know that they could be running a version of the app. I mean, this is the long-term vision. They could share their video with us, and while we're broadcasting live here, they could be sending us a feed that we incorporate into our broadcast. Correct, And yeah. you guys built that crap. Yes, <laughs> it, it, it's functional right now. We have, on the Wi-Fi network, we can do the remote camera application, and right now we're beta testing our worldwide remote camera, which goes through our servers, and at that point, uh, you can have, I think during your demo, you did it yeah. with my boss who's in Puerto Rico. Yeah. You guys are in Texas, yeah. correct? Yeah. And you're swapping video back and forth at full resolution. It wasn't a compressed no. streaming. It was you 
hit record on his camera, told it when to stop, and then beamed it over Think into your... Think about this for a minute. It's the future, John. It's I insane. mean, they're the only ones in the world who have this. Now, if you look back in and you... If we could look back at GoPro, you know, five years ago, who would have looked at them and gone, oh, I know exactly where they're going to be in five years. Yeah. But they're the only ones who have this. Five years from now, all you need is everybody get a copy of VisiWig and you become part of our broadcast. Anything from anywhere in the world and you just hop on the network and provide a feed. Why would you not have millions and millions of people all doing this and commoditizing the ability to broadcast from wherever you are? I'm going to correct you slightly, John. Sorry. Thanks to them, we all have this now. That's true. Yeah. We all of us can be part of this production system. It's, an, it's absolutely amazing. One thing I wanted to get out of you quickly before sure. is you worked in professional production. I imagine you were with Lucas on an edit droid at some point. <laughs> uh, what tips do you have for people? Because one of the things they need to get over is they get, they're afraid of trying this thing. They don't have the skills necessarily. Do you recommend they dive right in? Do you recommend they just play around a lot? Absolutely. Um, dive right in. We've, we've worked very hard to make it intuitive and friendly so that anyone can pick it up. Kids, I mean, when, when you and I met at Black World, I was having five-year-old kids come up and immediately start getting it, and the, the layers, like an onion, just begin to peel yes. off. That In the beginning, you're making very simple clips, but then as you start to dig deeper and deeper, there all the features are there. Yeah. Like, when I went to work for the company, I was like, I need the ability to do voiceovers, I need the ability to do lower thirds titles, I need yeah. the ability to do this, so that it's a professional tool, it's all there. It There's, is amazing. You can, you can yeah. email us with any question, and we will tell you the workflow to do it. Now, some of it is hidden because we don't want to overwhelm people, but it's there. And to my knowledge, because now that you can export your projects via iTunes or Dropbox, I believe there's an EDL list in there. Yeah. So you can pull that into Final Cut or Premiere yeah. Pro and take these projects into a, a larger nonlinear editing system. You could, start your, you could start your capture and edit here and export it to your desktop to finish it. Wh Who does Star Trek? that? It's Star yeah. Trek. It Nobody. Really oh yeah, computer. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the overview. Also, you guys, thank you thank so you. much to VisiWig for sponsoring this, yeah. uh, uh, this show. I mean, we're not just talking about it because we think it's cool because they sponsored. This is the first time that we've had VisiWig as a sponsor, but I've been gushing about this application since the first time I saw it in 2012. It is amazing. So we love that they have come on as a sponsor, but independent of that, it is the best video application that you can get for any mobile platform on the planet. And the most ridiculous thing is, it's 30 bucks. And this is John P saying it. This is not just some random guy. No, yeah. I'm going to point that out. It's 30 bucks, okay? That, that should cost like hundreds of dollars. It's 30 it bucks. It used to, until them. That's right. <laughs> so you guys go get it. And thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. Pleasure being here. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with lots more live continuing coverage here at CES 2012. I'm John P. I'm Renee Ritchie. And we're out of here.